अखंडमंडलाकारम व्याप्तम येन जराचरम तत्पदम दर्शितम येन तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः ओंकारम बिन्दु संयुक्तम नित्यम ध्यायन्ति योगिना कामदम मोक्षदम चैवा ओंकाराय नमो नमः ओम सर्वे भवन्तु सुखिनः सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चे दुख भावे नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू गेट अनादर एपिसोड ऑफ योगा विद आचार्य प्रतिष्ठा वी हैव कवर्ड लॉट ऑफ फीमेल ओरिएंटेड प्रॉब्लम्स इन आवर प्रीवियस एपिसोड्स एज वेल बट स्टिल देयर आर प्लेंटी ऑफ अदर प्रॉब्लम्स related to women and out of these so many problems one of the major problem is problem of irregular periods or problem of painful periods painful menstruation in this particular problem we cover all the females above 11 to 12 years we have covered this major problem major female oriented problem in this very special episode of yoga with acharya pratishtha if you too suffer from painful periods or irregular periods then trust me this special episode is highly beneficial for you and trust me if you practice the bharat yoga kriyas mentioned in this very special episode every day then for sure you can get out of the problem of painful and irregular period so let us begin with the bharat yoga kriyas and the first ever kriya which we'll perform which you'll we'll learn for the problem of irregular periods as well as painful periods is tanasana tan means tuning so this is the first kriya which you will do so that your body comes in tune and you can perform the next exercises in a better way tanasana is a complete stretching to your entire body and in the final position your concentration should be on the spinal stretch as well as on the abdominal stretch so for tanasan just lie down on your back now cross your fingers interlock your fingers and place your palms in front of your chest now breathe in raise your hands and take them above your head stretch your toes downward now stretch your upper half towards upper side and lower half towards lower side hold your breath inside in the final position Hold this position as long as you can hold your breath inside. And when it's not comfortable to hold the breath for a longer time, breathe out and bring your hands back from the sides and relax your entire body. Again, take the initial position, interlock your fingers, place your palms in front of your chest. Breathe in. Raise your hands. Take them above your head. Stretch your lower half towards lower side, and upper half towards upper side. In the final position, hold your breath inside, and concentrate. Feel the stretch at your abdomen as well as spine. Breathe out. Bring your hands back. This was Tanasan. You can perform around five to six rounds of Tanasan. Begin your sadhana with Tanasan, and then the second kriya just after the Tanasan is the kriyas of Kati Chakra. There are three kriyas of Kati Chakra which we'll learn right now. And trust me, if you practice these kriyas every day, you can never face the problem of painful periods as well as irregular periods. Again lie down for the first step of Kati Chakra. 
Interlock your fingers. Place your palms in front of your chest. Breathe in and stretch. Stretch the upper half and then stretch your toes towards your own self. And again breathe in and twist your lower half in such a way that when you twist, twist towards your left side, your right buttock will be raised from the ground. Breathe out, come back and shoulders should be stable, should be firm on the ground. Breathe in and twist towards your right side. Breathe out and back. Again breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then bring your hands back. Palms facing towards sky. Feet apart relax your entire body lie down on your back interlock your fingers place them in front of your chest now breathe in and stretch now stretch your toes towards yourself while breathing in twist towards your left side breathe out and back Breathe in, twist towards your right side. Breathe out and back. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then bring your hands back. Relax your entire body. Normal breathing in the final position. Now, for the second Kriya of Kati Chakra, fold your legs in such a way that your heels should touch your hips. At least try to touch your heels to your hips. Interlock your fingers and place your palms under your head. During the entire practice of the second step of Kati Chakra, your elbows must be stable on the ground and your knees should be together, feet together. Now, breathe in. Take your legs towards left side and your neck towards right side. Breathe out and back. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out and then spread your legs and relax your arms. Relax your entire body. Normal breathing while relaxing. Now for the third and the final step of Kati Chakra. Stay in the lying position only. Fold your right leg in such a way 
that the sole of right toe should touch the left inner thigh. Hands in the same position, fingers interlocked and palms under the head. Now try to touch the right knee to the left side. That is, breathe in and try to touch the knee to the ground on the left side. Neck towards right side only. Breathe out and bring your leg back. Again breathe in, twist and remember, doesn't matter whether your knee is touching the ground or not, but your elbow must be firm on the ground. Breathe out. Now fold the left leg and try to touch the sole of the left toe to the right inner thigh. Twist and neck towards left side. Breathe out and back. Again breathe in, twist, breathe out, back. Breathe in, breathe out and then again relax your entire body. Palms open towards sky and normal breathing while relaxing. Relax until and unless your breath becomes normal. So this was all about the three steps of Kati Chakra and in the beginning you did Tanasana. Now in the continuation the next Kriya which you will do is Sarpasana, the snake posture. For that just lie down on your stomach. That is just turn from here only and lie down on your stomach. Now here while performing Sarpasana that is the snake posture. You'll begin with uh, just place your palms under your shoulders and then breathe in. Try to lift up your forehead first and then your chest. But the entire weight of your body should be on your navel. Sometimes we feel as if the weight of the body is on the navel but actually the weight is on the arms. But that is wrong. Weight must be on the navel only. So what you can do is in the final position, you can just, just to judge yourself, just to check yourself, you can lift up your arms so that you'll be sure that yeah, the weight of the body is on the navel only and not on the arms. Now, just lie down, feet together and then place your forehead on the ground and palms under the shoulders. Elbow should be firm on the ground. Now breathe in. So while beginning the sarpasan, just place your forehead on the ground, feet together and place your palms under your shoulders and your elbows should be firm on the ground. Just watch it once and then you practice it by your own. And then make pillow of your palms and relax. Feet apart. So this was all about Sarpasan. Practice around four to five rounds of Sarpasan every day. Pilavasan, you have to take the position of a small child. Small child, we can say the position of the Bal Krishna. 
we also have a particular asan in bharat yoga which is named on bal krishna and the name of the asan itself is bal krishna asan just come on your knees for the bilavasan this is the initial position for bilavasan now breathe in and while breathing in lift up your head and raise your hips and while breathing out push your hips make arc of your back and head down contract your anus in the final position and then relax in vajrasana this was bilavasana and bilavasana is not only a wonderful exercise for the females who suffer from the problem of irregular periods or painful periods but it's a wonderful exercise for males as well especially it's a ramban for all those people who suffer from any kind of reproductive disorder this is a wonderful exercise for the problems related to reproductive organs whether male or female so everybody can perform uh, bilavasan and take the benefit of bilavasan and this is also highly beneficial for those who suffer from the problem of back pain like for the whole day you sit in your office you sit in the car and you start having back pain so it's a wonderful exercise for those as well who suffer from the problem of back pain this was bilavasan practice at least 10 rounds of bilavasan every day now the last kriya the last exercise for today is titli asan the butterfly posture which is a wonderful remedy for the females who suffer from the problem of irregular periods as well as painful periods and remember at the time of menstruation that is at the time of your periods you don't have to do the exercises you can do it on the rest of the days but at that particular period you will not do the exercises but yeah you can do the kati chakra kriyas which we told you in this episode and this bilavasan which i just told you because these kati chakra kriyas as well as bilavasan is going to give you relief from the pain during the periods as well so for titli asan just sit in this position only and we what you have to do in the final position is try to join the soles of both of the toes in such a way and then hold your toes with your palms bring them close as much as possible and then you have to give the movement like a butterfly breathing is going to be normal in the final position full movement should be given in the final position generally people try to practice titli asan in such a way that they want to do it fast but because they want to do it fast they are not able to give proper movement the proper wings movement should be there so it doesn't matter how fast you are doing it you can do it do it slowly as well but the most important thing is that the movement should be complete full movement should be there and try to feel the stretch especially at your hamstring muscles and your inner thighs while practicing titli asan back should be straight practice it for some time and then relax that is spread your legs and relax your entire body 
practice at least 20 to 25 rounds of Titli Asan. So this was all about the Bharat Yoga Asanas which you'll do to get rid of the problem of irregular and heavy periods, painful periods. Now let us talk about the Pranayam. Especially in your case, you'll perform two of the Pranayams. Brahmari Pranayam and Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. Let us learn the Brahmari Pranayam first. Sit in Padmasana or cross-legged position or any of the comfortable posture. And from the first finger, just close your ear. Especially uh, the, the flap of your ears, just close it. And then breathe in through your nose and breathe out in such a way that while breathing out you have to create a sound of Brahmar Gunjan or in modern terms we can say B sound you have to create and you have to concentrate on that sound only. Eyes will remain closed. Mm. relax and normal breathing while relaxing. Again no hurry to open your eyes and then after some time slowly open your eyes. So I hope you have got plenty of things, plenty of Bharat Yoga tips and exercises in this episode, uh, especially for women for the problem of heavy and irregular periods.